Hi everyone, welcome to the Robertson Media Center at the University of Virginia. Today we're going to provide a basic introduction to the new cinema camera in our fleet, the Canon EOS C200. In many ways it is the direct successor of one of our other cameras, the Canon C100, with a few more bells and whistles. In this video series, we'll start with an overview of the Canon C200. Then we'll cover how to set it up, how to shoot with it, how to record audio, how to edit the video files, and finally, a few practical tips for properly using and caring for this camera. The C200 is meant to be compact and portable while maintaining the full features of a professional cinema camera. It can have up to 13 stops of dynamic range and boasts an excellent ISO range. It shoots in Cine 4K, Ultra HD, or regular HD on a Super 35mm sensor. It offers touchscreen autofocus, a 4-inch built-in monitor, and works with existing Canon EF mount lenses. It also has two XLR audio inputs that support phantom power. And if that sounds complicated, don't worry. We'll break it down as we move along. Before you get on set, there are a few details to go through. First, make sure that you get any additional gear or accessories that you'll need for your shoot, including tripods, memory cards, etc. Most importantly, make sure you check out at least one lens, which should be a Canon EF mount. Here are some buttons to notice. We'll go into detail on some of them later. Here is the on-off button. Ensure it goes on camera to record and media to review footage. Here is the record button, REC. Use this to begin and end a recording. Number 11 is the one-shot autofocus button. If you'd like to automatically set focus, but not leave autofocus on, press this button. Number one is the magnification button. To check your focus, you may need to magnify your image. Select this button to digitally zoom in. This is only to see your image more closely for focus. This will not be what you record. Ensure to turn it off before recording. Here's the push auto iris button. If you'd like to automatically set your aperture, but not leave auto exposure on, press this button. Here's the viewfinder. If you're familiar with a viewfinder, rather than the monitor, you can look in here. Make sure to adjust for your eye using the diopter calibration. Now let's look at the inputs and outputs you may be using. Here is XLR1 and 2. This is where you can insert your XLR audio inputs, most likely microphones. Also, you can find an auxiliary 1 8 inch audio input on top. This is where you plug in your headphones. We recommend you always listen on headphones while you're recording. We'll talk more about audio in another video. This is your monitor screen. On the side, you'll find buttons for the menu, function, display, and cancel. You'll also find a joystick or a toggle. In the middle, you press in to set. Coming up next, we'll talk about how to set up the camera. Stay with us. <laughs> 